All right, folks, here is a uh, video showing the uh, 1951 Winchester Model 94 30 30. So, not sure how good my pictures were before, but here she is in all of her glory. Awesome gun. It's been used. And, uh, you know, it's got its marks, but not bad for a 67 year old gun by any means in the world super 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 sweet still can't believe I'm getting rid of it but y'all know how that goes trying to focus in here it's had a refinished stock but as you can see it's either a really 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 old refinish or Made to look old, I don't know. If that's how they do it in guns or not. Guitars can be done that way. Let's see. I'm gonna pause here and flip it over. All right, now for the other side. There you go. It's got a little mark right there. Not sure what happened there, but there's one of the bigger flaws of the gun. There again, it shoots good. It looks awesome. I love the patina on it. Not sure what that black spot is right there. My guess is oil or who knows what out of the last 67 years here. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty awesome shape. Um, I had the spare sight hood that I put on it out of my parts drawer. But, uh, so no, that's not original. But it's a good up close tour of this thing, so to speak. So show you the bottom part of it now if I can do so without destroying things and that lighting's terrible sorry there we go there's your serial number according to Winchester that dates it to a 51 and almost appears like can't tell if that's intentional scratching or somebody tried to scratch their name or something. I don't know. I can't really tell. Maybe that's just honest wear, but it's a real cool, old, affordable pre-64. So there's the butt end of it. This side of the stock again. It's a super cool piece. Alright, there you go.